as they start to box up. And then some money as well for the five, Lady Shanna. I was happy to go a little wider and look at the six, Lectra Destiny. It's at the $8 line. But they're all well supported here as they box away for race number five. Favourite is the one, Arabella Fig. Lure on its way, Mount Gambia. Set, ready. Racing, Arabella figure away quickly with also in the centre, Lectra Destiny. Lectra Destiny's going forward with Arabella Fig. Then underneath them was Homer. They're compact. Then came Ari, followed by Stylish Pursuit. Getting knocked out of it was Lady Shanna at the rear with Berry Bling up the back. Homer had the lead now, out by three to Arabella Fig. Then running to second, third was Berry Bling, followed by Lectra Destiny. Getting further back was Ari. Also there, Stylish Pursuit at the rear with Lady Shanna turning. Homer, a leader by about three lengths to Berry Bling, it's Homer in front. Arabella Fig's coming out live with Berry Bling. They dive. Berry Bling, I think, a nose in front of Homer. Then Arabella Fig third. Lectra Destiny was fourth, followed by Stylus Pursuit, then RE and Lady Shanna. This is very tight. Very tight here indeed. But I thought potentially Berry Bling had got up to score and it's up in the frame. Two is up. Berry Bling defeating the three, Homer, and the one, Arabella Figs, run third. So numbers here will be 2-3-1. Just wait on the judge to confirm them, but nine numbers through the line were 2-3-1. Time was 35-55. 35-55 and a good run. It was a good race. Arabella Fig for a moment looked like it might join into the straight. Homer was trying to pinch it, but Berry Bling dived late. Well done to... Trainer owner Nicole Stanley, Barry Bling, winner of the first leg of the quaddy by launch of a Marlow out of Lady Bling. Start number 33, win number nine. Defeating the three, Homer for Robert Halliday. The one, Arabella Fig for Peter Byrne. And the six, Lectra Destiny for fourth. 2 3 1 6, time 35 55. Head by Nequia Margins.